Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I wanted to share some easy ways to decorate for a birthday party or any kind of a party on a budget using mostly things, of course, from the good old Dollar Tree. I recently had to decorate for my daughter's birthday. We had a little family party at my house and I wanted it to feel, you know, like a real birthday party, but it wasn't going to be anything like Pinterest worthy where I go crazy and we have kids from her school and all that. It was just a little family party, but I still, like I said, wanted to make it feel like an actual birthday party. So of course I headed to the Dollar Tree and picked up some goodies that I could incorporate into the decor and she wanted an emoji birthday party originally but then when she picked out her cake she wanted a unicorn cake so I combined the two since there is a unicorn emoji I figure it's an emoji party still with unicorn emoji cake kind of thing I made it work, it was good enough. Um, but Dollar Tree had pretty much what I needed just to make the party feel cute and festive like a birthday party and I wanted to share some ideas with you that I did that you could incorporate whatever theme that you are going with. Some things you might not be able to find at Dollar Tree but you can find affordably at Walmart or Party City and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. If you know anyone that would benefit from a video like this, please make sure to share it. I would love and appreciate that so much. Now let's get in to the way I decorated and my tips and ideas for how to decorate on a budget and still make it really cute. One way that I like to make it feel like an actual party is by putting party hats around the house. I love a cute party hat. I think it adds just that perfect touch to make you know it's a birthday. So I say to add party hats on top of decor that you already have and it just mixes it in without having to go over the top. Party hats are super cheap and they come in so many different colors and styles. Dollar Tree obviously has party hats but you can get party hats cheap at Walmart and at um, Party City and places like that but definitely add some party hats around to give it that party feel. Another easy way to add a party feel to your house in an affordable way is to get some balloons and some of those little squawkers and blowouts, the little things that you put in your mouth and blow them out and they make noise. Those are super cute as decoration but kids also love to grab them. But if it's not a kid party, you just again put it out as decoration. But you can get those at Dollar Tree, super cheap. And again, you can get them at Walmart and Party City really affordably as well. I always get my balloons from Dollar Tree. I think they they have a pretty wide selection of balloons and you can't go wrong with a dollar because balloons can get so expensive. Definitely hit up your Dollar Tree and see if there's balloons that match your party theme or decor that you're trying to go for. One of my favorite ways to add the theme and feel of whatever party you're going for around your house is to get these plastic cups. They sell them at Dollar Tree, Target, Walmart, Party City, and they're usually always a buck. They have different characters on them. You can get them plain, but if you just get a cute plastic plastic cup that matches the theme of your party or you don't have to go plastic but I was having a kids party and I had the specific emoji theme so I went with the plastic cups and I just put some rocks in the bottom just to give it some weight and added water and fresh flowers and placed them in different areas around my house and even pair it with a balloon in different areas and that immediately gives your party that extra feel of a party and keeps it with the theme and makes it look really nice. Another easy way that you can add that party feel to your decor is of course banners. Never underestimate the power of a good banner. Dollar Tree has banners. You can also get them at Target Dollar Spot a lot of times for like three bucks. Dollar Tree also carries the hanging decor for parties like pom-pom tissues and little fans and stuff. I use some of the fans. Any of those add a definite party feel to your home or area that you're having your party. As you're getting ready to decorate your house for whatever party you're doing, look around your house and see if there's anything that fits the theme or feel that you already have on hand. The glitter tablecloth that I used on the dessert table, I had already had for years. I used it as a backdrop Background when I was doing photography and I used it for my daughter's fourth birthday party so I just brought it out and used it again. Also look around your house for different dishes and platters and cake stands 
things that you may have on hand that you use for other things. Everything doesn't have to match. Things look cute when they're mixed together. Adding those touches just elevates the area. It just makes it feel a little bit more put together. If you're serving food at your party, you can always add paper plates and napkins that match the theme of your party or the colors that you're working with and that immediately ties everything together in the food area. I had these chalkboard signs on hand so I just added them in with the appetizers and food just to give it that extra party feel and people know what they're eating so I think it's a win-win. It looks cute and it's functional. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I decorated for my daughter's birthday party and got some ideas from it. Maybe, possibly, hopefully. I also uploaded a video on my daughter's channel. It's Lennon Loves Adventures. I will link it down below if you are interested in heading over there. I did a video for her. She asked me um, to do a video of her birthday party on her channel. So I filmed all the stuff that we did on her actual birthday from the time that I woke her up until the end of the night. For the past few years on her birthday, we do a kind of scavenger hunt with her to find her presents just so she doesn't just sit there and open some presents. She likes more than the present itself, finding things and getting clues and stuff like that. All she wanted for her birthday was a chance to see snow. She had originally said to go on a plane and see snow, but we said, you know, that's really expensive to do all that. I don't know if we could do that, but we could probably try and drive somewhere to see snow. And then my husband and I decided that we would surprise her and actually take her on a plane to go try and see snow, but we wouldn't tell her until the day before we leave, which was her birthday. We knew we wanted the scavenger hunt to lead her to find out where she was going for her birthday, and I was so excited for it all to happen, and I'm so glad she had the reaction that she did. It was perfect. So if you guys wanna see some of her scavenger hunt for her birthday presents and a little bit of her birthday party, head on over to her channel after this video and check it out, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do like it. That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.